Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Charles and in my last video I talked about how I was going to take a brand new account and with only $200 grow that account to $100,000 by the end of 2021. And I plan on doing that by swing trading the market. And in today's video I'm going to talk about how I plan on doing just that. So stay until the very end. Let's go and try to make some money. Alright guys, so here we are on my laptop. Um, where I've got Excel opened up. As you can see, I've got a simple spreadsheet that I put together um, that I'm gonna use to help track my progress. And the way this thing works, guys, is that starting in November 27th, which was a few days ago, I'm going to track my progress every two weeks all the way out until the end of 2021 to see how well I do against the projected balance. So the way this thing works is that, let's take a look at this date here, April 16th, 2021. Um, I show that I should have a projected balance of $2,131.42. So at the end of this time frame here, the amount that I, uh, that I enter here um, from my Webull account, um, I hope that it will be equal to or better than the $2,131.42. And so if we take another date here, let's take a look here. Um, what is that? September 3rd, 2021. Um, it shows that the account balance here um, uh, says $18,318.31. So the value that I enter here from my Weeble account at the end of this time frame um, should be equal to or better than this value here. And I will continue to do that all the way to the end, uh, well, all the way until December 24th, 2021, where the value that I enter here from a Weeble account should be equal to or better than $102,390.31. So this, so this is how this thing works. Of course, um, that'll only work if um, I'm able to make 24% or better on each of my swing trades every two weeks. So I don't know how easy or how, or how hard that's gonna be, but um, at least that's the goal um, to, uh, for me to, to try and achieve. And so the, the purpose of having um, me track this, uh, track my account balance um, versus the projected balance is that um, if anywhere along my, uh, along, along my swing trades um, in these dates, um, I can check to see if I'm on track, if um, I need to do something better uh, because of maybe underperforming or to see if um, maybe I'm overperforming. Um, this will, these values here will help me gauge um, how well I'm doing here. Um, and if we look at the chart here, um, I have it set up where this is the, um, the monetary values of the account, um, or the projected values anyways, and these are the dates, the, the, mile, uh, the milestones um, that I hope to enter, um, where I will enter my, my um, Weeble account um, balances. Um, this is the curve um, of the projected balance. So once I start um, getting further along um, into this journey, when I start entering those values, um, we will start to see how well um, my Weeble account will track this, um, this curve here. Um, as you can see, it starts off pretty flat and then it starts to, starts to pick up steam and then it really starts to go parabolic um, all the way until the end of 2021. And the reason why it does that is because um, um, the gains towards the end of um, the end of this this portion here, um, the gains will start to be more substantial than the gains earlier on. So that's the goal, and um, hopefully um, we can see um, that uh, we get to that value of over a hundred thousand um, dollars by the end of next year. And that's pretty much it. It looks good on paper, but is it doable is the question. As you saw with the spreadsheet and the numbers and the milestones I've given myself, this plan will only work if I'm able to find stocks to invest in that'll give me the 24% returns by the time I take profit on them. So what is it do I plan on investing that will give me those type of returns? Well, I'll be looking for high growth stocks that have the potential to run up quick, and lately it's been in the EV space like NEO, Xpeng, and Blink Charging, although recently almost the entire EV space took a huge hit. I'll also be looking at penny stocks that have the potential to break out given the right catalyst. And I'll be looking for SPACs, or specialty purpose acquisition companies, that have announced who they are merging with or are soon to merge. 
So really, I'll just be buying the hype of the next best thing and selling to make a profit and thus will be doing very little research on those companies if that. Like I mentioned in my last video, I'm not a financial planner or a licensed professional, so the information I'm providing is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just explaining what I'm doing, and what I'm doing is very very risky because with a series of bad trades and if I don't get out when I should, I could lose everything. And if I do, fortunately it would be only $200, but I'd have to start all over again. Look forward to my next video, where I'll tell you how I did on my November 11th milestone. See you all next time!